I'm super excited to be back with another Doc Martens video. The style I will be reviewing today is the Doc Martens 2976 flat form Chelsea boots in black. And these are the platform version. I can't believe it's taking me so long to review the style because these are so, so popular. They have like this edgy vibe and they're just so wearable and perfect. As you might already know, I own a few different styles like the 1461, the Jaden boots, and this style right here is actually really, really comfortable compared to a lot of the other Doc Martin styles I've reviewed. Stay tuned because I will explain everything in this video, where you can buy them, what style you should get, what makes them so comfy, pretty much everything you need to know about this style before you get it. Every time I buy a new pair, I always film a review. For those of you that just can't decide what style you should get, I'll link all the other videos down below so you can watch them too. If you want to see how I style these, or if you're just like a Doc Martens fan like I am, make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on future Doc Martin videos. Also, follow me on Instagram if you want to see how I style these Doc Martens. So the reason why I had to have these is because I love the platform bottom and I love the style of having no laces. This style is a must have. It will never go out of style. Like I said, this is the platform style, but it does come in a regular style as well. Um, the platform bottom is about one and a half inches and it gives me just a little bit of a boost. So I always opt for the platform style because I just like the way it looks. Luckily, these are fairly easy to get your hands on. Um, they're available in pretty much every size right now in the Doc Martens website. I actually got these from ASOS. I'll leave the link down below. Um, they go for about $200, which I think is pretty expensive. I definitely splurge on these. For example, the Jaden Doc Martens are about $180, which, is, which I thought at the time was really expensive. And most Doc Martens are 120, maybe a little bit over, um, but these are definitely the most expensive style that I've purchased. These are more expensive though, probably because they are the platform version. If you get the regular versions, um, they run for about 160, 170, but I just really like the platform look. I love the Doc Martens chunky boot, so I always kind of like lean into that look. <laughs> It adds to the edginess of the boots for sure. Anyways, these might have to be my favorite style. They are definitely a classic out of all the Doc Martin styles. They are so timeless, so versatile. They pretty much go with everything. Um, I love how you can wear them with jeans, you can wear them with trousers, you can wear them with a dress. The Chelsea boot style looks very similar to the classic Doc Martin style. So the ankle height is um, the same. They have like a nice leather, smooth leather surface. But what makes these so special is it has no laces and it actually has this stretch fabric right here that makes it pretty easy to slip your foot in and take it off. Before getting these, I was definitely worried about how difficult it was to put on and take off, especially since Doc Martens are usually pretty stiff and I find the Jaden Doc Martens and the 19, the 1460s um, hard to put on and take off and they have laces. So I was pretty worried about these and how difficult it was gonna be. But I am so pleasantly surprised how easy it is to slip on and take off. So I'll give you a close up of this fabric and how stretchy it is. There's enough stretch in here for me to slip my foot in pretty comfortably. Um, when it comes to taking the shoes off, I definitely have to use two hands, but it's pretty easy. Honestly, so fun for me to wear because it's so chunky and big. Um, but it is very heavy, just a disclaimer, it is heavy. Let me know in the comments down below if you prefer the chunkier thick bottom or if you prefer just like the regular slim bottom. Love the look of the stiff leather, but I have to be honest with you, it's not very comfortable at all. As you can see, it's pretty stiff. There's really no like bend in it at all. I get a lot of comments from people asking if, you know, if they've had them for a month or if they had them for two months or three months and it's not getting any softer. Based off of my experience, they don't soften a lot. It, it I guess it, I think it takes, it takes many, many years for the shoes to soften up. Similar to the Jaden Doc Martens, the classic 1460 boots, any of the Doc Martin style um, with the ankle like this, it gets pretty painful when I wear them for too long. So I'll end up having like bruises around my ankle 
where this kind of like rubs back and forth as I'm walking, it kind of bruises around that area of my ankle. Because this is constantly like hitting or on my ankle as I'm wearing it, um, and it's rubbing my ankle, it just bruises my ankle. When I initially purchased my first pair of Doc Martens, I remember feeling so strange wearing them because I wasn't used to wearing something so big and heavy and chunky. They're initially gonna feel really big and honestly, you're gonna feel like you're wearing clown shoes, especially with a platform style like this. The platform is going to be heavier, but I promise you, once you get used to wearing them, um, it's gonna feel a lot more normal it honestly feels pretty badass. You're gonna grow to love how chunky they are. If you are living in an area with lots of snow, this is something to consider when you're choosing the right Doc Martens style. The Chelsea boots would be amazing if you lived in the snow because they are fully enclosed. Um, your feet are not gonna get wet at all. That was a little bit of an issue with my other Doc Martens with laces, is that when I was walking in the deep snow, it kept my feet pretty dry for the most part. The only time it would get wet is if the water would like seep in to where the laces were because obviously this part is gonna be waterproof, but like because of the laces, the water is going to go through. But with the Chelsea boots, you're not gonna have that problem because they don't have laces. So I think your feet are gonna be pretty dry. One of the reasons why I love Doc Martens versus any other boot is it's such a reputable brand. Their boots have been uh, around for such a long time because they are a classic. I've owned Doc Martin boots for over 10 years and I still wear them till this day. I don't mind paying the premium price for Doc Martens because I know I'll have them for a long time. Sometimes when I buy shoes from like fast fashion brands, they end up falling apart and I have to get rid of them after like a year or so. But Doc Martens are so amazing because the quality is so good. They just keep getting better and better the more you wear them. They will get softer and they kind of mold around your feet after years of wearing them. Um, they might not right away, but I promise you, after a few years, they will get softer. Just as a precaution, make sure you wear pretty thick socks with them. Um, what I mean by pretty thick is you wanna wear athletic socks that protect your ankles. So don't wear any no-show socks. Um, make sure your socks are going above of your ankle because like I said, this will rub against your ankle and it's gonna hurt. So make sure you're wearing pretty high socks that are thick but not too thick. Another thing about these boots, they are very stiff when you buy them. So there are no movement in the toes at all. They are very, very stiff. So when you are walking in them, you might feel a little strange just picking up your feet and like plopping them down like that because the toes, you can't bend your toes. I get a lot of questions how I break them in. So the secret of breaking them in is patience. My biggest advice to you is don't buy them right before you go on a trip thinking you're going to wear them the entire time. I made that mistake and I was in pain the entire time and it wasn't even fun. You want to start by wearing them around the house, then wearing them to get coffee or run an errand and just increase the time you're wearing them slowly by slowly and just build it up longer and longer. Also, this is a really good tip and you are going to be thanking me later, but bring band-aids with you. If you are nervous about them hurting your feet, just bring band-aids as a precaution. Carry a few in your purse, your wallet, car, whatever. Just keep them on you just in case it hurts and you need a band-aid to work as like a barrier between your foot and the shoe. I know that Doc Martin sells like a leather balm called a Wonder Balm, which is supposed to soften the leather quicker. Um, so what you do is you apply the balm all over the shoes, then you, you can stuff the shoes with like soda cans or socks or whatever, just to like stretch the leather out. Um, I've never tried it, but if you've been in pain for a long time and you are absolutely desperate for a solution, I would give this method a try. The Wonder Balm is only $10 and you can buy it on Amazon. I'll link the Wonder Balm in my Amazon store down below. If your Doc Martens are slightly too big, um, they can rub back and forth and cause blisters around your ankles, especially around your heel or around this part. I had that same issue with Doc Martens before and I purchased some heel pads on Amazon that seemed to help. Doc Martens does sell their own heel pad, but I found some on Amazon that seems to be a lot cheaper and they work the same. It's just like a tiny little pad that wraps around your heel, which makes the shoes a little bit smaller and your feet doesn't slip out of them as much and it doesn't rub. 
So I'll link the exact ones that I use for my Doc Martens down below. I also find wearing the right socks is really, really important. You wanna make sure your socks aren't too thin and they're not too thick either because if they're too thin, they're not going to offer you that cushion of protection that you need. But if they're too thick, they might make your Doc Martens too tight and that's gonna end up hurting your toes. I think any pair of athletic socks would work well because they're supportive and they're just the right thickness. I've seen some really wild tips on how to break these in, such as putting them in the freezer, using a blow dryer, or even showering with them. Personally, I don't try any of these methods because they're just so pretty and you don't wanna risk the leather being messed up or ruining your shoes. Just try to be patient and you can try balm, you can try. Doc Martens are pretty easy to buy. You can find them on Urban Outfitters, ASOS, Journeys, Nordstrom's. I purchased these on ASOS. I recommend getting them on ASOS because their return policy is really good. It's free, it's really easy. And I think they have free shipping very good customer service. When it comes to sizing, these run true to size. So I wear a size six and a half. I purchased a size six. I'm really happy with the way they fit because they fit pretty snug, um, but not too snug. They feel pretty comfortable if I'm wearing just like my athletic socks with them. So get your actual size. And if you are in between sizes like myself, size down. If you can, go to the store, try them on. It would be helpful to try them on and just walk around the store and see how you feel in them. See if your feet are slipping out of them or if it feels too tight around the toes. Um, it's definitely like make sure you go and try them on. If you buy them online, make sure you check obviously for the return policy. Doc Martens website are able to return them within 30 days, but they do charge you for shipping. If you are a Doc Martens fan like I am, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I'm always buying new styles and every time I do, I film like a full review and I just let you know everything you need to know before you purchase your own. Don't forget to hit the like button down below and thank you for watching. Bye.